Now, what is a ballistic missile? We'll be hearing a lot, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles. What is ballistic missile? So ballistic missile is something which follows a projectile motion. That is simply the ballistic missile. We have, we, I think most of us have read in our physics in our school days. A projectile is like something like this. Projectile motion is something like this. It's a projectile motion. So this projectile motion is nothing but, so this projectile trajectory is nothing but, is, is something which is followed by the ballistic missile. So the ballistic missile follows the ballistic trajectory to deliver one or more warheads on a predetermined target. Predetermined target. So this is the ballistic missile. If you see, if a missile is launched here, if a missile is launched here, and it has to go here. For that, we will give some initial velocity, initial velocity P. So with that initial velocity, the missile will travel and it will go by taking a projectile path like this. Okay, it will take a projectile path. So the important thing for, for this projectile for this for this ballistic missile is the initial velocity. After the initial velocity is given, the gravity plays a major role. The gravity plays a major role. Okay. And also, if you see the ballistic missile, it can have multiple warheads. See, let's say this is a missile, and for this missile, you see the D. It has multiple warheads. So when the missile enters, so when the missile is released here, it goes into the atmosphere. So when the missile is coming down, these you know multiple warheads. So these are the different warheads here. So these multiple warheads will split and will fall into different locations. So we know the range. So depending on that, we will give the velocity because we know the pre we know the target already this is the target. So as we know the target, we know the range. So we will release the missile and the missile will go and directly hit it by following the projectile. So this is the basics of ballistic missile. Also, so as I told already, the trajectory is fully determined by the initial velocity. You can say P, initial velocity. The effects of gravity, air resistance, and motion of the earth. These are, the, these are the important things that are there in the ballistic missile. So the short range ballistic missiles stay within the earth's atmosphere. There are two types, short range and the long range. So when the missile is left from certain point, and it has to reach this is the range r so if the range is short if the range is short so it will be in the earth's atmosphere only okay let's say this is troposphere this is stratosphere so if the range is short it will be there within the troposphere only but if the range is high and it's travel long distance so this path cannot be taken it has to make sure it takes this path because the angle of release and the initial velocity the angle release theta and the initial velocity b both of these things are dependent on the range itself so when the range is more that means that the target is at long distance what we have to do is we have to give great initial velocity and if the great initial velocity the missile will go to great heights so that means it is going it is the missile is going out of the atmosphere and it's going to the exo atmosphere and the atmosphere means within the atmosphere exo atmosphere means out of the atmosphere it is going it is traveling out of the atmosphere and it is coming back into the atmosphere back again okay because the range is long so these are different types of ballistic missiles depending on the range short range ballistic missile is something that has a range between 300 to 1000 kilometers the medium range ballistic missile has a range of 1000 to 3500 kilometers intermediate range ballistic missile has you know the range of 3500 kilometers to 5500 kilometers and intercontinental ballistic missile means the range of 5500 plus kilometers so some of the examples of ballistic missiles that india has are prithvi prithvi 1 prithvi 2 agni 1 agni 2 agni 3 agni 4 and agni 5 agni 5 is a means icbm intercontinental ballistic missile okay and also the dhanush missiles these are the different missiles that we have different ballistic missiles now we will see what is a cruise missile Cruise missile is something, and I'll explain you like this. Cruise missile is something which has an engine in itself. It has an engine in itself. So when it has an engine, we will give some energy to. So that means it already it it has a predefined path. Okay, so it has an engine. It has energy in it. We will define the path, 
and it will travel on its own okay it is a guided missile that means because it has engine and we are giving for the path we have we are giving it a, it a predetermined path it will directly go and hit the obstacle okay so cruise missile is nothing but something which we are giving energy prior to the, you know beforehand we are defining a set path and we are giving it energy also because it has an engine as i told you already but this is not the same with the ballistic missile it will not have an engine like the cruise missile the cruise missile is simply something it has an engine it's simply a driverless vehicle you can see it's a driverless vehicle in simple words and it has a warhead it has a warhead so this cruise missile is a guided missile and the target has to be preset for this in the ballistic missile even if you don't preset the target what will happen it will go and fall in the near places because it's a, it follows a certain path and the gravity plays a key role but in cruise missile it is not like that there is no gravity so the gravity will not play any role because it has an engine and it's a, it's a vehicle on its own it is, which is used against the terrestrial targets so it remains mostly in the atmosphere throughout its flight it flies the major portion of its path at extre- at a constant speed in the in the ballistic missile the speed varies the initial velocity is different after reaching height the velocity becomes zero and while coming the velocity again increases but this is not the same with cruise missile as it is a vehicle as it is a kind of vehicle the speed almost remains constant throughout its journey throughout its journey the cruise missiles are designed to deliver a large warhead over long distances with high precision as we, as it is it has a predefined path as it has a predefined path and also it uses information from the satellites and radar it is very precise it's very precise and also as it it's a vehicle in itself the changes in the atmosphere or anything will not affect the path of cruise missiles so that is one of the reason it is very highly precise the modern cruise missiles are capable of traveling at supersonic or high supersonic speeds and are self navigating and they are able to fly on non ballistic extremely low altitude trajectory low altitude trajectory Okay, this is about the cruise missile. The different types of cruise missiles. So generally, based on the speed, we are classifying cruise missiles. The ballistic missile we have classified based on the range, how far it can travel. But the cruise missiles we are classifying them based on the speed. The first is hypersonic. Hypersonic means the missiles which would travel at least five times the speed of sound. That is Mach five. For example, the Brahmos two. The supersonic. It travels at a max two to three. That means it is two to three times faster than speed of sound. For example, Brahmos. Subsonic is zero point eight times the speed of sound. So these missiles travel at a slower speed compared to that of the hypersonic and supersonic. Even it travels at a slower speed that of the sound. Example, the Nirbhay missile that we have. The Nirbhay is a subsonic cruise missile that India have. And Brahmos is a supersonic. The Brahmos two, which we are currently developing, is hypersonic okay now we will see the type of missiles that india have the different types of missiles first we will see air to air missiles air to air means from air the you know aircraft will fire and will directly hit the targets they are the air to air missiles the first is mika the mika is an air to air missile it has a range of 500 meters to 80 kilometers and it travels at mach 4 the astra missile astra is the air to air missile it's an indigenous developed missile it has a range of 80 to 110 kilometers and it travels at mach 4.5 speed novator k100 it's a medium range air to air missile with a range of 300 to 400 kilometers and the speed of mach 3.3 that means it travels at 3.3 times the speed of sound next comes the surface to air missiles surface to air from surface we will fire and it will hit the targets in the air It hit the targets in the air. The first is Trishul. Trishul is Sam surface-to-air missile, short-range surface-to-air missile. It has a range of nine kilometers. Next is Akash missile. It is a medium-range surface-to-air missile, indigenously developed one, and it has a range of thirty to thirty-five kilometer. Indigenously developed Akash and Trishul. These both are part of the integrated guided missile development program. Next surface-to-air missile is Barak. The Barak is developed by Israel, and India imports Barak. 
So recently we are entering into a joint venture with Israel also for the development of Parak. It's a long range surface to air missile that India is using currently. It has a range of 100 kilometers and it travels with Mach 2 speed. Mach 2 means two times the speed of sound. This is surface to air missile. Next is surface to surface missile. The surface to surface missile, the most important missile that India has is Agni. Agni is the most important missile for India. It's a it's an ICPM, the Agni 5 is intercontinental ballistic missile. That means it has a range of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers and travels at the speed of Mach 24, Agni 5. Now we will see all of the, uh, the series, the Agni series. The Agni 1 is a medium range ballistic missile. It has a range of 700 to 1250 kilometers at the speed of Mach 7.5. Agni 2 is an intermediate range ballistic missile with a range of 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers and speed of Mach 12. The Agni 3 has intermediate range, it is an intermediate range ballistic missile and it has a range of 3,500 to 5,000 kilometers and it travels with, you know, 5 to 6 Mach, 5 to 6 Mach. The Agni 4, it's an intermediate range ballistic missile and it has a range of 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers and it travels with Mach 7 speed. So we can see the medium range wins less than 2,000 kilometers, intermediate range 2,000 to 5,000 kilometers and intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM means 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers, which is Agni 5. And Agni 6 is currently in development. Agni 6 is currently under development. Agni 5 is ICBM. Agni 6 is also ICBM. The range is much greater. It is said that Agni 6 is going to be somewhere, you know, the range of Agni 6 is going to be somewhere between 8,000 to 12,000 kilometers. So the Agni 5 has a speed of Mach 24. That means 24 times the speed of sound. You can see how on a, how high the speed is. So in news, we will be seeing that DRDO has tested Agni missile from its island, from Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha range. In Odisha, we have this missile testing range. There's an island called Abdul Kalam Island. So from there, we will be testing our missiles in Odisha. Next, the other missile that we have is Prithi. Prithvi is short range ballistic missile. It has a range of 150 kilometers. Prithvi 2 is a short range ballistic missile again and has a range of 350 kilometers. We have Danish missiles. It was a short range ballistic missile. It has a range of 350 to 600 kilometers. The Shauri missile, it is a medium range ballistic missile it's with a range of 150 to 1900 kilometers. The Prahar is a short range ballistic missile with a range of 150 kilometers. So these are all the, all these weapons. All these missiles are developed by India itself. Developed by India itself. So we have the ICBM and all. These are the surface to surface missile. Remember Agni, Prithvi, Danush, Shaurya, and Prahar. Exam question can be direct. Which of the following is a surface to surface missile? Or which of the following is not you know, a surface to air missile? Like that question can be asked. So remember what missile is what kind? Either it's surface to air, surface to surface, or what? Okay. The next missile is, okay, here I'll just uh, show you the Agni missile, so Agni 1, the timeline of Agni basically, so Agni 1, it was launched in 2012, Agni 2 came into existence in 2013, Agni 3 came in 2015, and later Agni 4 in 2016 and subsequently, okay, and Agni 5 came in recently, okay. So this is the timeline of Agni. The next missile is the cruise missiles. The most important cruise missile of India is BrahMos. This was, you know, the development of BrahMos started way back in 1998, 1998, under a joint collaboration between India and Russia. It's a joint collaboration between India and Russia. It's a supersonic cruise missile. It has a range of 290 kilometers and it travels at Mach 2.8 to 3. The BrahMos 2 is a hypersonic cruise missile. It is currently under development. Under development, it will have a range of more than 300 kilometers and it will travel with the speed of Mach 2, Mach 7. BrahMos is one of the most successful cruise missiles in the entire world. No other country has a supersonic cruise missile with this much range and this speed. So that's why BrahMos is very important for Indian defense. Okay, the next cruise missile that India has is nearby, the subsonic cruise missile, which is completely developed by India. It's a, it has a range of 1000 to 1500 kilometers and it has a Mach of 
max 0.8 max 0.8 is its speed speed of max 0.8 okay these are the important cruise missiles of india so some other defense other defense missiles okay the defense systems that india has the first defense system is prithvi a defense system it's a exo atmospheric anti ballistic missile it is an altitude of 80 kilometers and it has a speed of max 5 what is exo atmosphere i told you already so when a ballistic missile is being launched if its range is high high, high range let's say it has a very high range let's say it is icbm because intercontinental ballistic missiles are very high range so as its range is very high it will go into it will go out of the atmosphere and come back into the atmosphere okay this will happen okay just a minute yeah so this is atmosphere it will go out of the atmosphere also because it has very high range so when it is going out of the atmosphere our defense system should be capable of hitting the missile even out of the atmosphere so this is called exo atmosphere and this is called endo atmosphere so exo atmosphere defense missile system defense missile system means when the missile is out out of the atmosphere that means in the exo atmosphere our defense missile system will make sure that it will hit that missile in the exo atmosphere itself that is the exo atmosphere anti ballistic missile system defense missile system it is prithvi a defense missile system next is prithvi defense vehicle it's a it's mixture mixture of both exo atmospheric as well as endo atmospheric okay it's an altitude of 30 kilometers it has a max speed of 4.5 advanced air defense system endo atmospheric anti ballistic missile with an altitude of 120 kilometers okay this is about the defense missile system india is importing a defense missile system from russia it, it's very important for defense protection for the protection of india okay and also we have anti tank missiles the different anti tank missiles that india have are first is amoga it's an anti tank guided missile with a range of 2.8 kilometers next is nag it's an anti tank guided missile with a range of 4 kilometers next is helena it's a helicopter nag helicopter anti tank missile that is helena okay helicopter nag it's helena it's an anti tank guided missile with a range of 7 to 8 kilometers because this will be launched from helicopter helena from helicopter nag is anti tank missile okay so what you have seen in this lecture we have understood the basic things that that are there in science and technology the basic important things that we have to cover from the prelims perspective we have also seen the analysis how many questions are asked in prelims then we have seen the defense sector of india how much we are spending in the defense sector defense sector what is the fda that is allowed we have seen we have seen the importance of indigenous defense manufacturing after that we saw the missiles of india the integrated guided missile development program which was developed which was started in 1983 and ended in 2012 we have seen various missiles under it the prithvi the prithvi sorry the prithvi the agni the trishul the nag and astr these are the different missiles under the integrated guided missile development program okay so after this we have seen the different missiles the surface to surface missile the surface to air missile and all just make sure you revise these things couple of times so that you will remember okay so that's it for this lecture i'll see you again thank you